what's up you guys welcome to my channel i hope y'all are all doing well today i am back for a little breakdown okay a little breakdown of what the hell is going on with jocelyn or in the words of um fucking nadiba hassling <laughs> Yes, this whole situation with Jocelyn versus Amber Ali and how everybody, all of the girls are really accusing her of going the hell off and attacking them is a mess. So before we actually get into the content, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button because I will be having more breakdowns and content coming y'all's way. Now with Jocelyn, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I have not really seen Jocelyn. I've seen clips of it and i also seen like a little episode every now and then, but her show does not give me attention like her show doesn't really catch my attention like that because i mean i feel like there's limits when it comes to ratchet reality tv and with jocelyn's show i mean it does nothing for me but me losing brain cells so i've been noticing the some there's like like some recent clips that has been going on um and been popping up on social media and i've been noticing how jocelyn is like doing the absolute most like she's doing so much as far as um, you know, getting off, coming off on these girls and just talking to them any type of way. Now, we always known that Jocelyn Hernandez has been a little feisty. Well, not a little, but she's been a bitch <laughs> on reality TV, especially on Love & Hip Hop and other shows in the past. But now, and it seems like that she kind of calmed down. She had a child. She matured. But, baby, I don't know if it's because of the powder that's been going on but jocelyn hernandez has literally lost her damn mind talking to these women like this it's like she's literally a female pimp if you try me 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 i'm a fuck y'all hoes up straight up like that now it seems like she got back to her original ways by attacking amber ali who is one of the breakout stars on her season three, Jocelyn Cabernet, Las Vegas. Now, according to Amber, Jocelyn kicked her in the stomach and damaged her ribs. And her fiance, um, Ballistic, contributed to the attack by pulling her hair so hard that it ripped out her scalp. And this was recently on the reunion of Jocelyn's Cabernet. So following the fight, you know, she took to her social platforms and built her case against Jocelyn, just going on live and seeing how she damaged her ribs. Take a look at these videos of her explaining what the hell happened. Big pressing charges, I'm suing. They bogus as fuck. So I just wanna let y'all know, before it gets turned, before it gets twisted, Jocelyn came out there with her little minions. They all was dressed up like they came to fight. Didn't even do shit. Was trying to jump the whole time. They was just trying to jump. Jump, jump, jump. They was rushing people in groups. All three of them. And when I finally caught Jocelyn ass lacking, and I cracked her ass and she fell, ballistic rushed me. And that's what happened. A whole fucking man. Yes, K Capri and Henny was trying to help me, but they rushed Riri. So this whole thing that they thought they was finna do tonight backfired. Y'all thought y'all was finna come in, bully, jump, and it backfired because everybody finna get started. They was mad. They was so mad. Like, how can you be so mad if y'all got mad. all this... If y'all got all this motherfucking fame and followers and and Gucci and like why y'all so mad at us then? She got mad when I start saying, get that money, baby. Yeah. I see yeah. You. Did you hear me? Put that dick in me. Kept, I come from the I street. Saying, Don't take me she back. She jumped up when I start Don't singing that boy. She kept saying. Don't take me back to this. I kept I kept calling her Chanel and all that shit. Oh my god. That shit was Yes, funny. I'm in the hospital because Jocelyn kicked me and ballistic attacked me, but I only came to the hospital because my ribs are my ribs are very bruised because Jocelyn had some big ass boots on and she kicked me. My ribs look like this. So I have to make sure that my ribs aren't broken or bruised. Other than that shit, I'm good. Ballistic just ripped my hair off my head. He ripped my real hair out. Like, we gonna handle this in court. It's all good. 
Oh, yeah, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. No questions asked. I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue. And I'm going to get an order of protection on him. I'm doing everything. Like, I'm going to millions. And Jocelyn kicked me in my fucking stomach bad as fuck. And so I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm going to get your ass back while you're thinking you just did something. So when I saw the opportunity to crack her ass, I cracked her ass and she fell. And when Ballistic saw her hit the floor, he attacked me like a man. He rushed me, he hit me, grabbed my hair immediately. We slung around all over the floor. I cut my toes up. I got attacked by a man because I was too much for his bitch and he knew it. He knew Jocelyn came with me. She knows she came with me. That's why them hoes kept standing up together. They can't do shit by themselves. And Diamond and Raven, they just let her send them right off. Cause they not gonna be able to work at no clubs. They finna have to sleep with Jocelyn every single night. Cause I'm going to their city, so. Little do they know, y'all wanna be Jocelyn Minions. Y'all finna have to deal with that shit after the show. This ain't just no show shit. I'm from Chicago. I will not rest until Jocelyn and Ballistic is behind bars. They done paid up. And, she, and Cabaret show is closed and canceled. No more Cabaret. No more Cabaret. That's what the fuck I'm suing for. Bitch, you will not ever have another fucking chance to treat all these females like you just fucking tr treated them the last three seasons of this weak ass show. And then to have your husband attack one of the cast members or your fiance attack a cast member. Yeah. No more cabaret. That's my goal. I'm not just suing for no bread. I want the cabaret done and gone. And I'm definitely suing till I can't sue no more. I can't fix my wig. I gotta go and pay somebody to fix it, y'all. Y'all seriously talking about a damn wig? It got snatched off. I'm just not leaving the fucking hospital. What the fuck you want me to do? I ain't got no hair. Shit. Oh, my back. Yes, tag the shade room because I will be going to all blogs. All of them. He is not in jail because Zeus let him get out of that jam. As soon as I said I wanted to press charges, they had me carried upstairs, locked away, held to the side by security while him and Jocelyn get out that jam. And that's what I do not like and I cannot respect. Look at fucking me. Now I gotta post my motherfucking pictures of what I actually had on and how I actually looked before the shit went down. Fucking back hurt, ribs hurt. behind my back I saw Henny trying to do a little something, something but the girls kept like rushing so like unless you was throwing them bitches like me you weren't really doing them and shout out to all the ladies from season 2 that came in my DM Lucky Hustler thank you so much for reaching out Sapphire thank you so much for reaching out Roly Poly Thank you so much for reaching out. Like, it really, I, I really appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for having my back. Thank y'all so much. And when Sapphire messaged me, Sapphire and Lucky was my favorite from season two. So the fact that both of them that already messaged me, that just made my morning better. Oh, 
<sighs> did Gaia and Wet Wet go to the reunion? Yes, they both did. Henny was fighting Raven when they all tried to jump me. Every time I jumped up, Henny jumped up. I just don't know what she did because I was too busy fighting. Okay, Capri fought Lollipop immediately, expeditiously. Soon she got on the stage, she fought Lollipop. That's when Diamond and Raven tried to jump up and help, and that's when I jumped up, and that's what started us fighting. Fuck y'all think y'all doing? Ain't no jumping. They jumped on Riri and dragged her and kicked her. Jocelyn kicked her in the back, and Diamond kicked her in the stomach, or the other way around. But one of them kicked Riri in the stomach. One of them kicked Riri in the back. And Raven grabbed her hair and yanked her hair. They like attacked Riri. And I felt so fucking bad for her. But that spring tour, baby. I'm showing up to each location with the police. So I don't know how they think they finna do that. Every location I'm coming with the cops. Every location. Jocelyn slapped Lexi Blow. For no fucking reason. And we was telling Lexi Blow to beat her ass and I don't know why she didn't cause she was in her face. She had the perfect opportunity. When Jocelyn smacked her, she had the perfect opportunity to crack her ass. And she didn't. Because she couldn't believe Jocelyn fucking hit her. I knocked Jocelyn the fuck out. And Ballistic attacked me. And I am pressing fucking charges. There's no way it's... 7.30 out here in Cali and I'm leaving the fucking ER. No. Y'all not y'all got me fucked up. Gaia didn't want the bullshit. Okay, so you guys just seen her in the hospital bed talking to one of the cast members and also with her saying how she's getting ready to sue. She's getting ready to sue Zoo. So you've seen all of the videos. Now, Jocelyn, yesterday, Jocelyn actually commented, um, did a whole Twitter rant, okay? And we're going to go ahead and read some of these tweets of what she said. She said, Mortal World Combat, hashtag Jocelyn Cabernet, Las Vegas. Jocelyn said, I'm ordered combat one ho. Pimp slapped another one. Push one into last night's episode. Kick down a few on the ground. I slap fire out of everyone on that stage. Me and my crew. Wait for it. And it's like it seems like that she's boasting about this. She's boasting about attacking her girls. Keep crying from your hospital bed with your broken ribs. One key you flew into next day. Run mouth as hoe. And for you dumb bitches, when you sign up for a reality show, you cannot file a lawsuit against anyone on that show, you dummies. Y'all hoes, stay off my dick and go get you some money. Mind you, all you hoes, forever my hoes. You work for me until you die. Mm. It ain't never gonna stop. And then she went ahead and tweeted um, a video, a meme with, you know, Mortal Kombat. Your guts went to your ass after that, she said. I don't have too much money to have time for bitches that don't make no money. So if you don't work for me, please kindly mind your broke down business and go get a fucking job. Dog mad face, jealous in this drunk, drunk, drunk hoe. Another one bites the dust. Now in the midst of Jocelyn actually going off against Amber and her accusations, Tommy Lee comes into the picture and blasts Jocelyn Hernandez. Um, now she actually took to her Instagram and said the same grown ass woman bragging about beating bitches up is the same one called the police and got a restraining order on me. I had to pay 50k to get out of jail all because when it comes to me everybody's so mature and above the BS they turn they turn into victims all of a sudden. SMH y'all funny. I don't want my court fees. I want my court fees and bond money back. That's what Tommy Lee had to say. 
regarding the situation. Baby, the public has been dragging Jocelyn up and down, okay? They have been dragging her. They're trying to get Zeus to get canceled. They are canceling the show. Nobody's not really interested in it. Now, the Zeus Network had to come out with a public statement. And this is what Zeus had to say regarding all of this drama. The Zeus Network would like to thank all of our viewers for their continued support. While our programming remains authentic, loud, proactive, raw, unscripted, and uncensored, under no circumstances do we condone bullying, unprovoked violence, and men attacking women. Certainly, we are conducting a thorough interview of events that took place during Jocelyn Cabernet reunion taping. The safety of our talent, crew, guests, and fans is our top priority. We encourage anyone who encounters a violence of any kind to seek help from their local authorities or visit stopbullying.gov for free and confidential resources on how to seek help. Now, it seems to me after all of the mess, you know, so many different girls went live and explained their story. Pretty much Jocelyn attacked everyone, allegedly. Um, now, this is just breaking news. Literally, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, Jocelyn and Ballistic released a statement and said, We are deeply saddened by the accusations made against our family at the Jocelyn Cabinet reunion. We would like to thank our fans for their continued support. Jocelyn is the mother of a five-year-old girl and would never take any action to jeopardize her family. Jocelyn Cabernet was created on a foundation of female empowerment. One of our programs... <laughs> I'm sorry. One of our program's core values is supporting women, not breaking them now. While we support Zeus Network and its message in condoning, condemning bullying, unprovoked violence, and men attacking women, we strongly disagree with a coloration between these themes and the events that took place last night. There is footage of the events that, and we are confident that our position is made obvious. In this time when social media narratives easily get misconstrued, we believe our family response is being silenced by the facilitated the, um, deletion of both Jocelyn Instagram and Facebook accounts. Now, <laughs> baby, uh-uh. Okay, Ooh, Josiah, get it together. Get in your professional voice. Ooh, okay, so I, I I watch a few shows. I watch a few episodes. And y'all, this season is a damn mess, okay? I didn't see Atlanta, but I did see Miami a few years ago. And Joc the way how Jocelyn is talking to these people, the way how she is um, attacking these people, like, it just seems like a whole bunch of BS. Like, and even Amber, Amber is the absolute most. Me and misread this situation. Let me tell you something about your high yellow bones. Do you think you look better than Beyonce? I think I look like me. Do you think Beyonce look better than you? No. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. But you think you're that bitch. And you're not. Beyonce is the most beautiful woman in, in the world. You're a fucking bobblehead ass, dumb ass, stupid asshole. We have to get her. This is Twitter. delusion. This is delusion right They're here. They're gonna be like, that bitch, Beyonce. Beyonce? I can see the memes now. Fuck the beehive. I'm not trying to clear no air for these fucking people that don't already know me and that I don't give a fuck about. The little one with the black hair, where's she at? Somebody go get that hoe. So I overhear Miss Diamond say that she feels like she don't need to be here. Cause bitch, if you don't need to be here, you need to go nah. Nah. I overheard you downstairs saying that you don't need to be here. So I'ma tell you again, if you really don't want this and you really feel like you don't, it's cool. We just you just gotta let me know. So I can have another. You never won, you never yelled at me. You have never disrespected me this whole time here. You've cheated me nothing with love. And I feel like in a way, I don't know what, what it was that she wanted to come and say or score points to get your attention to or, to, or to get her time or limelight. You're being disrespectful. I, Just I like you called Kayla, bitch. It's okay. Because you have her shit shut way. down. You stay she disrespected the female. There you go. There you, you need go. to bring there somebody you else to your butt. No, because that's what like you do. You sit outside and have me with you, right? Hey, yes, what's you doing? You outside yesterday night. Can you ask Henny to say what she just said? I'm, I'm sorry. Back up off me. Don't touch me. Okay. Don't touch me, my nigga. Don't touch me. If you put your dick beaters on me, I'ma put my hands on you. We ain't cool, bitch. Oh, 
all these girls ratchet if you ask me all these girls ratchet but at the end of the day that does not grant you to put your hands on anybody unattack anybody like i don't like the way how jocelyn talks to these women and i want to go just a tad bit more deeper into the situation jo- you got to realize jocelyn jocelyn was really the way how we saw jocelyn on love and hip-hop when she was introduced to us in 2012 because sis been in the game for about 10 years now a decade um we seen how stevie j talked to her manipulated her made her feel like she like talked to her like he was a stripper you know jocelyn was saying how going back to the strip club stevie i don't want to go back to the strip club jocelyn grew up on survival mode she didn't really have anybody to guide her in that direction so with that being said what's going on now jocelyn is putting her trauma and i have a drink here i'm drinking a little bit a little bit of um to them any type of way tequila that's how she grew up i think it's tequila but because i, I never really drink tequila but i'm drinking jocelyn. tequila tonight can y'all hear me i thought that she can you guys hear me at least change and we all know that jocelyn will, will be forever ratchet can y'all hear me and that's okay we all have some ratchet can stuff. you hear me jocelyn this guy right have to pop a bit you need it but when you degrade these women and you're degrading yourself, I'm not singing no damn song. Leave me alone. Game for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember Jocelyn. You can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Credit. Terrible, messy. Ass so listen, ladies. Divorce from Stevie J. You know we got picked up for season three, but and um, we're going to go to Vegas. Is just and really sad. I don't know. If I need Jocelyn will be able some to cover ladies that really to want to be to in the cabaret. Now, uh, to start hitting us up, me and the Seuss Network. I really want ladies this season for well, season three no in Vegas no to one, okay? want to be no girl is in the cabaret, pimp, to want to perform pimp, 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 next girl. to me. Let you just because sit down, I just, you know, I really like, feel like hey, last season, do even do, season one, on nobody, it's like the ladies yeah. come, like I said but earlier, I thought they don't get it. You know, they they come and they try and they and they try and they try, but. This to be in the cabaret, you, it, it has to be your passion. It has to be, like, in your heart. And um, I want ladies that's in your heart, you know, real dancers that can really follow a routine, but that want to do risk. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josiah as well, TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye-bye.